Hi there, Kathy Elkind of Elkind Nourishment. Today I wanna to talk about reclaiming your power around food. And I'm gonna share with you three steps to help you reclaim your power around food. If you've ever overeaten, binge eaten, or emotionally eaten, you've given up your power to food. And then usually what happens after you've overeaten or binge eaten or emotionally eaten, you've, um, you beat yourself up. So the three things to do to reclaim your power. First one is realizing that that self-critic is in there, uh, is there beating yourself up. Why did you do that? Blah, blah, blah. You know that voice that's, that's there after you've overeaten or binge eating. So I want you to ask her to go away, gently walk away, self-critic. I don't need you at this time. Thank you very much. Number two, now this is the tricky part. This is the hard part. Take yourself to, to the place just before when you were overeating or binge eating, when you weren't physically hungry, but you were eating food what were the emotions that were going on at that time? What were you feeling? And label them. It could have been uh, frustration. It could have been anger. It could be um, not feeling good enough. That's a big one, sort of shame. Not feeling good enough about something that happened made you feel not good enough. It could have been loneliness or grief, sadness. Uh, loneliness is another really strong one I notice with clients. And third, uh, the third thing to do, so once you've realized that you've had these difficult emotions and you used food to numb, now give yourself a little compassion for having that difficult emotion, whatever it was, give yourself a little bit of compassion. And if you want to know more about self-compassion, check out some of my other videos. So those are the three ways to reclaim your power. Now, it's not easy, it takes practice, and the more you practice, eventually you'll be able to notice when you're reaching the, for the food, and then you can give yourself compassion. First of all, notice what emotions, again, that you're, that, why you're reaching for that food, what's going on, and give yourself self-compassion, and then you won't need to use the food to numb and soothe those emotions. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'd love any comments. Let me know what you think and give, give it a practice. And um, also, if you're interested in more, um, like my Elkind Nourishment page. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.